welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this candy bouquet using candy from the Dollar Tree. And in my opinion, this one is twice as nice as the ones that you can buy at Walmart that cost a whole lot more money than this one. But in the video, I use a little adhesive roller to attach the candy to the dowel rods. Now, if you don't have one of those, you don't have to run out and get one. You can use tape. You can use just a dab of hot glue if you want to. That's fine. Whatever kind of adhesive you have on hand is what you can use. You do not have to go out and get one of these little adhesive thingies that I'm using. I hope that you enjoy it. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to make it. Alrighty, y'all, let us get started. So yes, the closer and closer that we get to Valentine's Day, the more and more you are going to see in the stores, like candy, I'm going to call them bouquets, candy bouquets, um, arrangements made with candy and whatnot. And at Walmart, they have them for $18.97. So you add in tax, you're looking at spending almost $20. And you can make it yourself. <laughs> you can make it look a whole lot better. You get more of money's worth, I guess you could say, if you make it yourself. Because if you look at the ones at Walmart, they are made with three big boxes of candy. Only three. And they angle them together, and then they wrap plastic wrap around it to hold it together. And then they put just a few, like, little pieces, like the little fun size pieces of candy in it. You're not really getting your money's worth, I don't think. I think that's an insane price for what you're actually getting. So we are going to be making them ourselves out of mostly Dollar Tree items. And when I say that um, the candy came from the Dollar Tree, you can get most of the stuff at Dollar Tree. The foam and these little skewers did not come from Dollar Tree. They do carry them, but mine just happened to be out. So I had to get them elsewhere. So to start, we're going to make the vase for our bouquet. You're going to need four of these big boxes. I call it movie theater candy. You get this at the Dollar Tree. You, know, you want to make sure that all four boxes are the same size. And I got these because, number one, I love anything sour. And two, these boxes are a little bit wider than some of the other ones. Than, say, like a box of M&Ms. These are wider, so you're going to be able to get more things down in them. Like I said, make sure that all four boxes are the same size. You're going to need a sheet of cardstock, or you can use some cardboard, whatever you have sturdy, that you can fix these to. This is going to be the bottom. You're going to need some floral foam. Well, this is styrofoam, not necessarily floral foam, because that stuff is squishy. This is just regular foam. I got this actually from Joann's. And then you're going to need a bunch of dowel rods, these barbecue skewers, you know, whatever you want to use. And then you're going to need an adhesive. Now, because this is designed to be taken apart and eaten, I'm going to be using this Dot Runner. This is uh, Elmer's brand. You can get this from Walmart. It's over in the, like, scrapbooking and paper crafting section. And almost any craft store out there is going to carry it. But what it is, it's like a little, a little plastic tape. Y'all can see, and like on that tape, see like right there, focus. It's like all of these gazillion little dots that are made up of adhesive. It's going to be strong enough to hold this together, yet if you put some pressure on it to take it apart in order to use it, you're going to be able to do so without like ripping these boxes open and ripping your candy apart, okay? And then you're going to need a whole bunch of candy, and I got a big bag of candy over here from the Dollar Tree. So what we're going to do is, this design here is going to be on the outside. So to start this off, I'm going to come down to the bottom. And I'm just going to put a strip of this adhesive. And then I'm going to stick it down just right here, even with this, the edge of the cardstock. Okay. So now we're going to take another box. Once again, this is going to be on the outside. And I'm going to place it just like this. So that once again, it's even with the edge of the cardstock. So that means I need to run some adhesive on this side and on the bottom. I love these things. It's like they stick things together, but like if you have to take it apart for some reason, it's pretty easy. All right, now we're just going to stick that right there. 
Let me just hold it together for a few seconds. It's cold in here. It's it's like it's warm outside, but inside the house is kind of cold, which is weird. So I just like to kind of hold it together a second just to let it warm up and really adhere. Because sometimes it'll pop apart if it's too cold on the inside. Okay, so let's see how we're going to do this one now. I'm going to put it this way. And then when you're sticking these together, make sure, because see, like if you put it this way, then your box isn't going to fit. You're going to have a gap here. Make sure that you're putting them together so that they will all fit together and make a nice little vase, okay? So now we're going to go down this side here. Once again with this on the outside. I think I prefer sour candy over sweet. <laughs> I don't know. Is that weird? I like sour stuff. All right. So now we're going to put this one here. Also attach it to this one and attach it to the bottom. So we're just gonna put a strip of this adhesive here, one across the bottom, and we're just gonna hold it right there. And then I'm gonna go right, I'm trying to do this, <laughs> holding it up to the camera so that you can see it. It's a lot easier when I can like hold stuff down in my lap as opposed to hold it up in front of the camera. All right, so I think that that looks okay. Now, once this is all set up, I'm just gonna take my X-Acto knife over here and just trim away this excess cardstock. Like I said, I just, I didn't wanna cut it first because I wasn't sure, number one, like exactly how big it was gonna be. And I think it's just easier to work on the full sheet and then trim it up later. Okay, let's stick that there. As if it's a little bit warmer in your house, that this is going to be a lot easier. Okay, so now what we're going to do is let's take some of this foam and I'm gonna open it up. And I want to cut this big block in half. Let's see. Yeah, cutting it in half should give us the width that we need. So hold on a minute. I want to pause the video and let me cut this to shape. And I'm also going to go ahead and trim off this excess card stock. So I'll be back just in a second. Alrighty, so I had the foam cut to shape and I just stuck it down in our candy vase. And I'm going to throw the other pieces over there and we'll use that for something else. I just used this old crafting knife. Well, it's not actually a crafting knife. It's just an old knife that I have now designated for crafting purposes. Alright, let's set that over there. And I also trimmed away the extra cardstock. All right, so now for our candy, and I have a ton of it over here. I'm going to tell you why I chose the type of candy that I chose. I got mostly like bar candy. I got Butterfinger and some Twix, actually uh, some Reese's Cups. And I'll show you why, because you see this flap right here? An easy way to get the candy to stick to the dowel rod without having to use like hot glue or like individual glue dots is I'm just going to put adhesive on this side and then on that side of that flap and then just encase the, the little skewer right there in between the both of them and just press that down. Not too hard. You don't want to break the candy up into pieces. You know, just like this. And now it is ready to stick down in the foam. Yeah, this is going to be the hard part, showing you how to do this. But you just want to stick it down in the foam. Now, do all of the rest of your candy like that, whatever kind that you're using. I also got some smaller candy that we can kind of put down in here as filler. I got some of the fun size Snickers that we can also just put here and there to use as filler. Um, let's see what else did I get? Airheads, because I love, I love the airheads. I've liked them ever since I was in school. Got some of these little miniature lollipops. I might try to work some of those in. So, yeah, just go crazy. Here's this Hostess Mix hard candy that we can use down in there as a filler. I also got, <clears throat> excuse me, I also got some tissue paper from the Dollar Tree here 
that you can cut into pieces and just kind of tuck down in here, you know, to make it look like an actual bouquet if you want to. And I may do that here in a few minutes. But let me work on the actual candy part. And then I'll come back and show you if I use the, um, the tissue paper and how I incorporate it. I'll be right back. All right, there we are. And I did use some of the tissue paper. All I did, I just cut it into squares and then just gathered it up and just kind of stuffed it in here and there just to fill it out a little bit. And I think it came out pretty, pretty well. I'm trying to scoot back here to get all of it in frame. But anyway, um, yeah, don't be afraid to use a lot of that adhesive. You, you want these, you know, to really stick around your dowel rods. You don't want it to fall apart on you. If you're going to transport it somewhere, you know, so don't be afraid of the adhesive. <laughs> use all that you need. You can also get bigger glue dots about the size of a dime at Walmart, and you can use those too. Stick it down as well if you want to. So anyway, there it is, all finished. I hope you liked it, and I know my kids are waiting for me to get done so that they can tear into it. But if you would, please give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, check me out on other forms of social media, the links to all of which will be in the description box down below, and I hope to see y'all next time. Bye!